good Walmart coffee. Let's go live. It's good, Papa. <laughs> Just coffee. It's not Papa. Let's go live. There we go, Night Ranger, Sister Christian. That's good stuff. It really, really is. Good morning, Double R Radio. It's that Wednesday morning. You know, I'm not a Night Ranger kind of a guy. Um, I don't even care for Lone Ranger. No, we wouldn't go there. All right, really forget about that. Uh, I always thought, you know, really, when I was a kid, when I would see Lone Ranger, um, I always had it wrong. Remember his sidekick, Tonto? I always call him Tonto. And because uh, he was pretty down, that, that 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 really man, that Indian, he was kind of down. He really, really was. Anyways, is uh, he always thought TP? You know that that Indian was so dumb. You know TP? He always thought that was an Indian restroom. <laughs> no, and, and that, Robert, get off of that, Robert. Okay, okay, TP and P. You know. <laughs> All right, okay, that's not funny. All right, good morning, Double R Radio. Is uh, where we at Wednesday morning, September the 9th, twenty twenty. I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot of gripes that I want to talk about. Sometimes when I'm in a bad mood, it's because people have put me in a bad mood, and I get to blow steam here on the morning show and talk about whatever's been going down. So, look, uh, um, let me see here. What do I want to talk about first? Um, um, we'll talk about Bill Miller's only because I want to close the deal. A couple of days ago, I talked about Bill Miller Barbecue that I went over there, and I, I got me a, a barbecue chicken. Well, I got me a barbecue brisket sandwich, the number one, and they gave me a bunch of crappy meat inside of it, so I took it back. And I told the manager, hey, man, this sandwich sucks. Give me a better sandwich. She brought me a different sandwich, and then she put no meat in it. So I, I griped about it. I wrote Bill Miller a letter, an email on Facebook. And get this glass, yes. Right? So um, the guy got back with me yesterday afternoon. The guy from Bill Miller, he called me. He goes, uh, Mr. Rebus? And I go, that's me. He goes, I hear you had a problem with your sandwich. I said, yes, I did. And um uh, The guy tells me, I feel really, really bad about what you experienced. How can I make it better? And I say, well, uh, can you get me the register girl and get me that other girl over there that was serving tea too? Let me have that one. And also, I'd like a $1,000 gift card. And then from there, I say, I can I get uh, unlimited apple pie for life? <laughs> and maybe part ownership of Bill Miller's. He goes, no, we can't do that. I said, well, I mean, what uh, what part can't you do that way? I don't have to ask you again. And he said, all we can do is just replace your poor boy with another poor boy, order fries and a tea. I'll throw in some brownies. Okay, I said, all right, I'll take that. I'll settle for that. And there you go. But the guy was very, very cordial. I'm glad they got back with me. They were concerned. And uh, it's all been situated. Good morning, Judd. I got up to Cindy Martinez Hernandez taking a break from uh, her job to join me live. Good morning, good morning, Diana Morales. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Star Reyes, Seeking, Texas. Good morning, good morning. So there you go. My Bill Miller's issue was situated now. Um, let me tell y'all, man. You know, I've been kind of debating getting a new phone. Okay, uh, my phone's pretty new already, but I'm Chief Lado. I'm spoiled. I want a little bit more. So anyways, I got a Sprint phone, and I wanted to go to Sprint to go get a new phone, if possible. Good morning, John. I got out to Diana Morales. Good morning, good morning. Joby Ordnay. Good morning, good morning. There we go. Missing Robert. What? Um, uh, what? Morning, Robert. Good seeing you, and good seeing you, Joby. There we go. Good morning. So well, anyways, now, T-Mobile. T-Mobile has joined in with uh, Sprint. We all know this, right? T-Mobile, Sprint. Mm, about to look us forever. I went to a T-Mobile store right up the street from my house, and there's a big sign on the door saying, looking for Sprint? We're right here with T-Mobile. And I go, all right. All right. We're familia, right? Go in there, and I go, hi. I said, I've got a Sprint account, and I like a new phone. Uh, we really don't have any Sprint phones yet. And I go, well, I thought you guys are together. He goes, we're together, but we don't have no Sprint phones yet. I said, well, are you Sprint or not? He go, we are, but we're not. I said, so it's kind of like que si, que si, que no, que no. El coco rayado, lo quiero yo. And they go, yeah, kind of like that. And I go, oh, okay. I said, well, so I can't get a phone here. He goes, we only have one phone. And I go, which one do you have? He goes, it's a dial-up. You got to turn it like that. I said, man, I got one of those at home. I'm not going over there. So I said, screw this. I'm going to my Sprint store down the street on Broadway. But how crazy that... If T-Mobile is going to be advertising that they're tied in with Sprint, their familia, then you go in there and they say, well, we're Sprint, but we're not really Sprint yet. And I said, well, what is it? when are y'all going to be Sprint? They go, we don't know, but we'll let you know. Well, you don't even know my name. He goes, I know, but we'll let you know. And I go, man, 
So I got out of there. Enough of that crap. There we go. It's to my daughter, Jeanette Rivas. Says good morning, San Antonio. Good morning, San Antonio. Going out to Francis Murray Morales. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So anyway, there you go. There was my um, Sprint T-Mobile kind of a thing, and uh, so I don't know, man. I don't think those guys have all their um, eggs in a row. Eggs in a row. Uh, Domino's in a row. You know what I'm talking about. Well, anyways. If you got a Sprint account, don't go to a T-Mobile store. Then I gotta know what the hell you're talking about. And that's true. It really, really is. Now, that being said, let me see here. Where do I want to go? Um, we'll go here first. Check this out. Crazy story. Um, Lubbock, Texas. A woman walked into a Taco Bell, very, very upset, claiming that uh, they shorted her on her tacos. She went in there ranting and raving, saying she ordered ten tacos. They only gave her eight. Manager came out and said, ma'am, I put your order together for you. I put ten tacos in there. She goes, I only got eight. Well, the, the woman who was pissed off the customer started cussing out the manager. The manager started cussing out the customer. Before you know it, chingasso started happening, and all hell broke loose at Taco Bell. There you go. Anyways, you know, there used to be a story about Taco Bell uh, back in the day. There used to be a quick little joke that said the... Uh, uh, did you hear about the brand new Mexican telephone company? No! It's called Taco Bell. It's not Worcester Bell. Taco Bell. No. Eh. Alright, let's, let's forget about that joke. Well, anyway, so there you go. There were chingazos at Taco Bell in Lubbock, Texas. And there you have it. People will fight for food. I won't fight for food, man. But, I mean, for two tacos? Now the woman's in jail. And there you go. Now she went from Taco Bell to Taco Cell. Because they got a jail that's right in there. No, that's not funny either. Okay. Good morning, John. I got another Leo Nájera. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anthony Hernandez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Don't want to miss anybody here. Double Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, it's Houston, Texas. Good morning, good morning. Now, um, I'm glad my daughter's listening in. Because I want you to listen to this story, all right? Listen to this story. You're going to like this story. This is a very, very uh, kind of like a... Uh, kind of a story. You know when you go, oh, that's so nice. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I don't even know if you're aware of this, but Luby's Cafeteria, they're shutting down. Luby's Cafeteria and Fuddruckers. So I'll talk about Fuddruckers later. I don't care about them. But Luby's Cafeterias are uh, having a liquidation sale. Uh, they're, uh, <laughs> they're liquidating means they're getting rid of everything. They're done with it. They're done with it. There we go. Um, my daughter says I will fight for Blanco Cafe. And also, Scotty. <laughs> Good morning, Jenna. Good morning. The Double R Radio sponsor, Dora Peña Rodriguez, Garfield, Texas. Well, getting back to the Luby story. Lubies are shutting down. Uh-oh. Uh, this ain't going to work out the way I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> Alicia Gonzalez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I want to go ahead and go with the story only because I already jumped into it. Lubies cafeterias are shutting down throughout South Texas. Um... They've been around a long time, and I'm just going to say this. Luby's Cafeteria, if it wasn't for Luby's, I wouldn't have my kids. And that's very, very true. Because back in the day, you know, when I was looking for a job, I was working at Luby's Cafeteria, and that's where I met my first wife. I met her at Luby's Cafeteria, and um, I didn't really want to meet her, but she kept on making the moves on me. And I said, no, no, I'm not interested. But she kept on making the moves on me. And I said, no, I'm not interested. Until finally I gave in. You know, what? what's a guy to do? I gave in, got married, but I had two great kids with her, and there you go. <laughs> She's listening right now. Anyways, sister, my system is down. I guess I'll listen to you. <laughs> there you go. Hey, man, uh, showing me some love right there. There you go. Good morning, John. I got to Sylvia Solis. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Carlos J. Luisa. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, um, my first wife, you know, when we met at Luby's, do y'all remember the tea girl? Remember when you're reading and the tea girl comes by, would you like more tea? Would you like more coffee? You know, one of those deals. Well, anyways, um, like I said, I was on break. I was having my lunch. I didn't want to be disturbed. And uh, the tea girl, which ended up being my my wife, ex-wife, kept on coming by, would you like more tea? And I go, um, I'm just having water. Yeah, but would you like more tea? And I said, um, uh, ma'am, I'm, I'm having water. Yeah, but would you like more tea? And I go, uh, no, no. And then she circled around one time, kind of like the Indy 500. She circled around one time. And then again, would you like more tea? And I go, no, I, I got to get back to work. 
So anyways, Hickman, I'd be working in the kitchen, mopping and sweeping, and she'd come behind me. Would you like my tea? And I go, no, I, I'm not eating. Hey, cut me some slack here. And there you go. Anyway, <laughs> my daughter said, Dad, Dad, uh, I just shared your live feed. Please be cool. I'm always cool, me, huh? Good morning, John. I got up to Michelle Cohen, the ever so political Michelle Cohen. Michelle was all excited. Michelle was all excited because of a political billboard that they put out there. And uh, where are you from, Michelle? <laughs> where are you at? You're up there by San Marco somewhere. Well, anyways, uh, the ever so political Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. Anyways, there we go. Anything for the show. <laughs> anyways, let's see. So, Luby's Cafeteria, they're shutting down. Um, it makes me a little sad. It really does because, really, the only thing I liked about Luby's are the fried fish, the macaroni and cheese, the mashed potatoes, and... Um, that's it, man. I couldn't even afford a pie. Luby's desserts have gotten really, really expensive. Man, you get a piece of pie at Luby's, five dollars. That's a number. Five dollars, man. That's two tall boys at Valero. If I got a choice between two tall boys or a piece of pie, I'm gonna get the two tall boys at Valero, and that's what I did. All true. Anyways, along with Luby's shutting down, Fun Ruckers is shutting down. I never cared for that place. I went there one time to Fun Ruckers. Didn't care for it whatsoever. You know, I thought it was the stupidest thing. You go in there, you order, they give you a hamburger, they give you the two buns and the meat, and then from there you go to like a salad bar, and you can put your lettuce, your tomato, and your cheese. You put, you build your own burger. But how much can you put between two buns? Uh, that's what I told my prom date back in 78, but we're not going to go there. This is a family show. So there we go. Good morning, John. I got to Anthony Hernandez. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So anyway, there we go. Luby's Cafeteria shutting down. So is Fuddruckers. Adios. Mika, you like Fuddruckers? Please, por favor. Man. Overrated. Uh, let's see here. What else do I got here? I think I got one more for y'all. No, I think that's it. Well, anyways, good morning. Uh, Wednesday morning it is. Um... I'm drinking my Walmart coffee right now, and uh, by the way, I'm drinking my Walmart coffee and my Double R Radio Morning Show coffee mug. <laughs> Ain't that so pretty? As to be sure and purchase your Double R Radio Morning Show coffee mug, simple, robertrebusradio.com, simple, robertrebusradio.com, and click on the store button. And it's going to say, how much do you want to donate or pay? Just put the house, the car, el tío, la tía, la abuelita. Throw everything in there. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. And you'll get your coffee mug. There you go. I want to welcome back my daughter, Jeanette Reba. She was in Dallas this past weekend. And uh, it's a long trip to me for a girl to drive from San Antonio to Dallas and then come back home. I mean, she got, that kind of reminds me of that song by you, the Alan Jackson. It must be love. It must be love. <laughs> All right, I better behave here. Let's keep it going, those lonely boys. Good morning, Wednesday morning. Happy day, Wednesday. Double R Radio. Good morning, Jada Ganata. Anna Fuentes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. Simple, robertreversradio.com. Simple, robertreversradio.com. Click on that video player button. It's all free, man. You're going to love it. I promise you. Good morning, Jada. Nani Jimenez. Buenos dias. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. What are they? Ow.